Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is the full month of August 2020. Love connection reading for you, Pisces, okay? This is a love reading for the full month of August 2020. And this is for the sign of Pisces. I hope you're great. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. Thank you, thank you for coming back. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, all right? This is for you. For the month of August, I'm not reading reversals for the sign of Pisces, okay? And um, before I start, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for coming back, for guest viewers. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, button and the bell, please do it now if you're keen and if you are interested. And um, and if you would like to further support me, my journey, my channel, my theme, check out the description box below. Uh, go to my website to read about my blog. And then we've got an, uh, a new online store. It's www.sunshineco-essentials.com. Check it out, guys, because that is where we, we will be moving the private reading, the astrology digital report. And that's where, that's, I where, that's where I will put all the items that I've been studying. Yeah, I've been studying since last year. So we've just created the formula of the manifestation mist. And um, check it out, guys, because um, I work with a, um, a specific um, supplier in the U.S. and I think one in Canada as well. So this is free shipping, okay, free shipping worldwide. And you get a free digital astrology report, which is valued $17. So if you want to manifest, meditate, and get to know yourself, you know, it's, it's pretty cool if you know your um, natal chart natal birth or natal or birth chart chart report have a look at that okay even if you don't buy just check it out all right so this is for um for pisces the month of august 2020 what is the message for you i'm still shuffling the card okay three cards okay i'm not reading reversals okay okay all right let's go okay so um you started off the first week of August with the star card and the page of pentacles, okay? It gave you hope. There is hope. One message gives you hope. A, a game changer, a message, a simple message that gives you hope. I'm just going to write it down. It's a very basic message, but it gives you hope. It's a game changer. That's what I get for the first week of August for you. Like everything seems to go, every seems to, everything seems to go back to the way it was. Okay, game changer. Okay, I'm just going to write it down. Yeah, so fate is restored. Once this person call you or text you, Page of Pentacles, your fate towards them is restored. Restored, restored. <laughs> distorted no restored okay and then yeah it's a beautiful the star card look a beautiful uh, beginning there's an ending and there's a beginning okay it's like a simple message will open a portal of infinite opportunity between you and this person so do not belittle that small thing that gesture, that small communication, because everything starts from one before it becomes ten. You know what I mean? This is very simple, but the simple thing, the simple gesture, it gives you hope. It's a game changer. So it's an amazing energy, okay? And then for the second week of August, you've got nine of pentacles in the chariot card. So, wow, this is really cool. So feeling great, feeling valued, your, the attention that you want with your person, it's there. They love you. They miss you. You're feeling valued. You feel important towards your person. I also see a travel, okay? Mid-month mid, mid month of August, there's a possibility of travel. There's a possibility of being out and about. You're being valued, you're being respected. Nine of Wands and Ace of Wands. Your person is a little bit playing safe, but the minute you show them that you are keen, you're in a role, you're you're into this, they will remove all of their hesitation and you'll produce the Ace of Wands, okay? There's a new beginning mid-month of August 2020 for you. Um, it's a possible new person that you will meet in the travel. For some of you, there's a bit of challenge um, second to um, third week of August. There's a bit of challenge, but 
um, being the mature person, because I feel like you got time, they got time, and you're matured, it will, it will work things out. Okay, it will work things out. There's a challenge, second and third week of August, it will work things out. Um, I'm also getting the message, you have to inquire, you have to ask, you have to follow up in order for this to proceed. And then it's going to create an ace of wands, okay? I felt like the first, uh, sorry, the, the second and the third week of August for you, your person is waiting for you to validate, to confirm. It's more of you have the upper hand, the power to say no or to say yes into something um, the second week and the third week of August 2020, okay? And then for the last week of August 2020, you've got the world card in the three of wands and everything is history. Three of wands, there's a future, okay? There is a restoration of fate. There's a renewal. There's also a new person in here. If I really feel like there's a lot of movement, okay? So just keep spending time with each other. Go with the flow. I think you will, I think they will question you. Okay, the reading gives me a feeling that this person will question you. You just answer whatever you feel like. Get real. You'll be questioned. You'll get a follow-up. They want you more than you want them. Okay? It's more of this person is buying your time. Like, hey, hey, this is what I get from your person's energy. Okay? So you're more in a control energy in the August month. You can con you're not controlling it, but you're more in control of this. Because you're the one saying yes or no. Okay? So that's really cool. And then end of August 2020, you've got the world card in upright position. And the three of wands, which is like, we have a lot of plan. We will be together in this plan. So it seems to be by September month, it's going to be amazing. Okay? And then the predictive outcome and advice for you, two of wands. Ooh, take it slow. Okay? Three of cups. For some of you, because you end up with the three of wands. Maybe your expectation is too high. Maybe you want to marry. You want to. You're talking about kids or marriage or engagement or living together. Um, start with the basic because you've just started. You've just rekindled, reconnected. There's some challenging situation mid month, but you will you will be able to recover it. And then pretty much in the immediate future, the advice for you is start from scratch. Okay, um, if you're dating or getting to know. Or rekindling don't jump into the wagon right away enjoy the moment just just be together enjoy the moment and then knight of cups sorry knight of wands you know and let's see how it how it goes because there's a future okay there's definitely a game changer a change of aura a change of personality an adjustment it's, it's something that you have been waiting for your person to be um, they have they have more time with you now. They're more kinder. They're more calm. It's more relaxed. Okay, so it seems to be there's less issues in August month for you. No drama, not a lot of drama. So enjoy this moment. Build this happy moment. Okay, versus jumping into exclusivity, moving in, kids, or you know making big decision making. You will get there. So right now. Treat August month as a fun month for you and this person. Because these simple things, these fun things that you do, that is the foundation of your relationship. This is where you, you'll, you'll, you're kind of declare, declared that, okay, we can live in together. We can be together. We can get married. So be comfortable with August month. And then the rest is going to be history. Okay? So yeah, March with aim high. Um, possibly... Take the big decision September, October, November onwards. But pretty much, I felt like up until September, it's like, um, it's like play, play with it, have fun with it, you know, be expressive, be flirt, okay? Because it will get serious by end of this year for some of you, someone's going to get pregnant, someone's going to get married for some of you. So yeah, before you take this big decision making, because that's pretty serious, you know. Enjoy August, September, October, okay? There's a decision-making at the end of this year for some of you. It's pretty good, okay? So thank you. I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.